welcome so much to this uh, lesson you're going to do a question on sequence and series you're going to start off with a question a kcc question that is 2006 and that is number 22 so let's begin the product of the first three terms of a geometric uh, progression is 64 if the first term is a and the common ratio is r a express r in terms of a Question number B, given that the sum of the three terms is 14, find the value of A and R and hence write down the two possible sequence um, each in each up to the fourth term. Then part two, find the product of the 50th terms of the two sequences. So let's begin with the first one. You took the product of the first three terms of the geometric progression is 64. The first thing to note is that in a geometric progression, you have a common ratio. So we list down the first three terms of a geometric progression as follows. So the first three terms will be A, there is AR, and then there is AR squared. So A is the first term, AR is the second term, AR squared is the third term. So those are the three terms of geometric progression following each other, where A is the first term and R is the common ratio. Now, when you get the product of these three, you get the product that is uh, A times AR times AR squared that one should give 64 so multiplying these a times a times a you get a cubed then r times r squared is r cubed this one should give 64 so since we are expressing r in terms of a you are going to divide both sides by a to divide this one by a cubed this one by a cubed so this one gives so you notice that this one and this one will cancel out so that we are left with r cubed is equals to 64 over a cubed so proceeding This one gives, uh, if you get the cube root of both sides, the cube root of r cubed is r, and then the cube root of 64 is 4, and the cube root of uh, a cubed that one would be a. So you simply get the cube root. So you obtain, so from here obtain cube root. of both sides that is uh, r so the value of r therefore is r expressed in terms of a would be 4 over a now the second question given that the sum of the three terms is 14 find the value of a and r and hence write down two possible sequences of each up to the fourth term so we want to get the sum the sum of the three terms so the sum will be a plus a r plus a r squared the term the sum will give 14 so we need to add this remembering that we have got you obtain the r r is 4 over a therefore this one gives um, when you add it uh, you add a you substitute r you get a plus a times r is 4 over a plus a times 4 over a that is squared this one should give you 14 so this gives a plus 4 plus 
this one gives a uh, 16 over a squared which will give uh, 16 over is equals to 14 so you can group the like terms together a plus 16 over a then um, plus 4 is equals to 14 and this one uh, you take this one to this side you get a plus 16 over a is equals to 14 minus 4 but you will have uh, a plus 16 over a is equals to 10 so adding a plus 16 over a this one will give um, a squared plus 16 over a that is 10 uh, if we proceed multiply both sides by a these are the left hand side multiplied by a will give a squared plus 16 then this one will give uh, 10a so reorganize this one to form a quadratic equation you get a squared minus 10a plus 16 is equals to 0 so since this one is um, a quadratic equation we are going to have two values of a so solving this quadratic equation uh, you obtain when you factorize these i know you have already done this in um, the previous topic on quadra solving quadratic equations so this one when you factorize it, it gives a minus 8 i'm going to skip that step a minus 8 a minus 2 which gives 0 therefore you obtain a uh, should give uh, 8 or uh, a will be 2 so there are two values of a a should be 8 or 2 now that is the value of a now we need to obtain two values again since we've got two values of a we therefore will have um, two values of r so remember so remember remember that r is equals to 4 over a so therefore you want to obtain to uh, the values of uh, r so when when a is equals to 8 therefore r will be given by a half then when a is given by 2 r will be given by 2 so those are the two the values of r we have obtained the values of r and the values of a so the next thing is to find the product of the 50th terms of the two sequences uh, so there's a question you've not done yeah we need to give two possible sequences to the fourth term this part so the two sequences will be given by having this eh? remember that our terms are a a r and a r squared the fourth one will be a r cubed um, so using the first one using these eh? when a is equals to eight and r is equals to a half uh, when we substitute the, these two values a is equals to 8 that is a that will give the first sequence a is equals to 8 and r is equals to a half we shall obtain the first sequence as um, 8 4 2 and 1 that is when we substitute uh, the value of a to be 8 and r to be a half the second sequence is when uh, we use this one when a is equals to 2 and r is equals to 2 and the second sequence will give uh, 2 4 and uh, 8 and uh, 16 so this is the first sequence 
and this one is the second sequence. Now, having done that, I think we have answered that question fully. Let's go to the part two of the question. Find the product of the 50th terms of the two sequences. So, how do you write the 50th term? The 50th term will be given by A raised to, and these are raised to 50 minus 1. And this one will be A r raised to power 49 so the product um, of the 50 term of the two sequences will therefore be given by in the first sequence in the first sequence it will be given by a is 8 times r is a half raised to power 49 the second sequence a is 2 r is 2 raised to power 49 so work out this using uh, the calculator is a bit easy use the calculator and this one if you work it properly it should give you 16 so that is how you're supposed to solve that question so obtaining expressing r in terms of a we've done that and we've got we got the r is a 4 over a then you went ahead the second question you found the two values of uh, a and r on the last one is done so that is how you're supposed to work out that question